BBD, I think this one may have been your and Luke's brainchild. Am I wrong on that? It is definitely Luke is the primary creator. Okay. Uh, but it's it's the elementary school draft. Uh, so we're, we're, we have five categories we're drafting from. It's your ideal mm. recess game, the ideal mm. writing utensil. I suppose if you want to make pens and pencils illegal so we all get to pick fun stuff, mm. uh, I'd be open to that. Okay. Lunch, food, holidays, and a spirit day. Okay. Or like another one, I guess otherwise like special day. A day you have to be in school. Like you can't pick Christmas because you wouldn't be in school on Christmas, right? So I think it's an interesting conversation because you do like school Christmas parties. Um, And like you do. So the day before, you'd have to say that. Like it isn't the day. You don't get Christmas. You get the final it's day a, of it's school as before it, Christmas. It's as it applies to the like school day, like okay. take, like the holiday itself. Obviously, we're not in school. Okay. But in my opinion, that would be a legal pick if you want to have gentlemen's agreement. No, I just I just think you have to phrase it that way. We all have like, to understand, like you're not getting you don't get that Christmas. Day off you're not getting school. the gifts and shit. But we do like so, like some years we might had classes that did a secret Santa, or some years we. You know, you do the party stuff. And- I'll leave it open for now. Um, but okay. I will not be scared to veto, especially in this fit. This guy vetoes stuff. What is Spirit Day? So Spirit Day, I mean, I, I'm hesitant to give, like, examples. Right. But, like, otherwise special days, like like Crazy Hair Day or okay. Field Trip sure. Day. Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, I think I have all my answers ready to go. And I don't think we're... So it's a draft. I don't think I'm going to like overlap at all. I know. I don't think I'm okay. going to overlap. Okay. I mean, that's what we'll find out here. Maybe we're going to find out some California bullshit hmm. we don't know. Um, Trevor, I don't know. if Can you can you write a number in mm-hmm. your head or on your if phone? I'm going 51. Okay. For Bernie. I'm going. Come on, baby. 24? 24. 24. Which Obviously. I, which I wrote down. Okay. Because I thought it would be well, funny. So I will take 61. One to one hundred. The number is seventy-two. So BBD, you get Ouch. to pick which draft pick you'd like. Ooh, I think, I think I, I think I will take the. No, I want number three. Wrap around. I want the wrap around. Okay, BBD is going to take. I want to be able to get two picks in. The snake pick. Um. You know what? I will take. I'll take the first pick. We'll sandwich Trev. Um, Love it. Per use. Um, this, uh, so Trev, you are right. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of bad options here. Yeah, I, I think we can all walk go away with first overall. Happy. This is so interesting. <sighs> you could mess this up. I could mess this up. I'm actually pretty not happy I took the one pick. I think the wraparound is where you want to be. Um, that being said, I am going to go with, you know what? I got to go with my heart and, and I don't think this is a standout pick. I'm going recess. I mean, probably my number one activity in life is recess. And for me, it's something that'll never be replicated. I'm just going with recess football. Mm Mm-hmm. Man, I I played so much recess football as a youth. And I just don't think that's ever going to come back at this point. Um I don't I don't see the boys getting You can tackle your kids. <laughs> like nobody gets hurt. You have the one kid in your friend group who's always hurt. Like that kid's collarbone snaps, but nobody really cares cuz they're just Someone, always hurt. One kid a year gets gets genuinely hurt. And it's but. the same kid. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm going with recess football. Jake, I love that pick. Thanks. I think it was my number 1 in the category. Wow. 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 That's that's different. We when, when I was growing up we had recess flags. football. No. Well, we had a team. Well, soft. No, we had a team like at my school. Like in we elementary? Were, like we, yeah, we played against other Schools. I mean, that's where California's built different. So Our built middle different, school didn't dude. even have a football team. What's elementary school, by the way? Ooh, One through that's four? That's an interesting um, question. For me, it was K through five. 
I was up six, seven, eight. Okay. They they adjusted while I was there. Mm-hmm. It was up till fourth grade, and then they added fifth grade to the elementary yeah. school. I know there's so. some places where it goes to six, and then you like seven, eight, nine, middle school, ten, eleven, twelve, high school. And dude, it's recess. It has to be such a terrible brand of football. <laughs> but in my head, That's what I was say. in my head, we were superstars. I mean, the plays we, were, we made. We were chucking the ball. I still like. There's a dream of of one like punt return I had in the wow <laughs> in <laughs> recess football. <laughs> we, I got, Drive, you might be with the wrong crew. I got I got to college and I was in like a I was like in a sports psychology class and like oh think about like a time when you were oh, playing man. sports that you were just like in the zone. <laughs> Everyone else was talking about very real athletic oh my moments. God. All right, that was the first one that yeah, came. Yeah, we out. might have to. I don't know if you're helping my case at this point, <laughs> PBD. Um, I took my pick, uh, Trevor. California elementary school football yeah. teams. There's a few. The few reasons I don't like recess football. Okay. Um, one is you just end up scrape knees all the time and yeah. are you putting a band-aid on because oh, once you put off. the band-aid on the worst part is taking it off and then you want to air it out but you also need to like put some neosporin on it we didn't have grass at my school so uh, it was like you're playing football you're playing on the freaking okay. blacktop see that's what the northeast does have a lot of grass okay that changed it a little bit okay but again we we had like a team so yeah that's fine okay that's I right. had one question. I, I wanted to make this pick, but now I'm a little bit confused. Holiday. I think you guys mentioned it. I probably wasn't listening. Okay. Is this a break? No, it's a holiday. Or just it's like a specific as, day. It's as it's like celebrated in school. So that's we were discussing okay. that before this, and I think the most controversial right now would be Christmas, and it would be like the day before Christmas break. So, like a lot of elementary okay. schools do carol, like singing and shit mm. like that. So that's your spin. But you, some sort of like you don't party. get the actual out of school part. Yeah, you're not getting Christmas Day itself. But okay, I have a clear cut number one. I think because I was gonna go Christmas break, but now that we've explained that, that's not gonna fly for me. I'm going with writing utensil, and I'm going with the smell markers. Mm. The smelly markers. <laughs> yep. That's high on good. my board. That's pretty like good. you got to have them. <laughs> if you had them, you were king. Yeah. Oh, you want to smell this green apple? No. Yeah. You can't smell this. You can smell the licorice. Go ahead and smell the licorice. That's for you. <laughs> yeah. Licorice. Nasty. So I'm taking that. I think that was for me. I have another one that maybe could have been close to my first pick, but I, the smelly markers for me are top notch. Okay. Mr. Sketch is the brand that comes to mind for me. I love the pick. You're you're instantly brought to a place in time. Um, yeah. And I was going to say recess or elementary school is the only time you have utensil smell markers, but I will be telling the <laughs> office after this, if we don't have smelly markers, we're doing ourselves a disservice. We need so, a couple packs of Mr. Sketch. Oh, so yeah. Here. Those are soon to be ordered. Mm. Um, it's a great pick, Trev. Trev, Thank what you. what were Very you much. a not to get to what what grade is Teddy in? Is he, he's in elementary school? Right? First grade. Okay. Yeah. Have you had young young first grade? Have you had any? I mean, you've had to have some flashback moments where you're like, oh shit, like. Yeah, he's um, the homework is fun. You know, him bringing it home. He can read, which is awesome. Mm. And I remember when I first learned how to read where you could like sit down and read a book by yourself that was like you know in our a at our age that was your escape to a different world right you know you you had tv but like you could just sit and read a book and be somewhere else and now that's changed a little bit but uh, seeing him like go through that brought me back okay that's beautiful um great pick trevor BBD, you have the wraparound. You get back to back picks. I have the wraparound. I think I'm going with two of my uh, two of my number ones in what I identified as shallow categories for me. Sure. So I'm I'm excited. This is shaking out the way it has a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my lunch food first. I'm taking pizza. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pizza, yeah. pizza day. Strong. Well, it's pizza day or just the standard cafeteria pizza that you're getting one, like once a week when you have like the special pizza days that that come from like a nice place in town 
particularly oh. in the north northeast. Ooh. I'm drafting the ca- the cafeteria pizza. I think is the pick, and it's still my number one in the food yeah. category. But just by the way, those days happen. Okay. Um, it's a little northeast flex right there. Uh, okay. And then on the wraparound, I'm gonna go to my spirit day, uh, and I'm taking my clear number one in the category. Uh, it's field day. Yeah. It's just a whole day of recess. Yeah. Whole day of recess. I have I have one other pick that that I would have really liked there, uh, but this was a clear number one in the category for me. No, that's a field g- day. So did uh, Trev and I guess uh, I was going to ask you that because this is a a big thing in the Northeast. It's just one day a year you get grouped up with like, I guess how did they do it like. Would you get grouped up with four kids? Would you get uh, at my s- elementary school? I think we had like kind of just your class would go around. They had like twenty different like right, stations so of games much. throughout the day. Everyone would get like half hour at everything. Yeah, that must have not been. There's probably fewer games than that, but it's just whole day of, of gym slash recess basically. Yeah, which it's I guess it's, I guess it's very much a a, a traditionally boy pick. I, some um, girls had fun. Yeah, I think the girls yeah. had fun. Certain categories, be- certain games, better than others. So I don't know. I take back that sentence. But does that speak to you for Trev? the boys? It was it was a great day at my school. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember a field day. I'm sure we had something like it. Um, look, if we're talking about recess all day long, obviously that's a kid's dream. Yeah. No, I mean it's. So I'm I'm into that, and and then your other pick was the cafeteria school pizza. Mm-hmm. School that I went to, we didn't have a cafeteria; we just had like a lunch window, so we did get pizza brought in from everywhere, and that was obviously. Whoa. I mean, that was everybody's go-to. We had um, pizza day, we had a subway day, an El Pollo Loco day, subway which is day. like a. <laughs> BRC burrito, beans, rice, and cheese burrito. You just, we didn't have that. <laughs> okay. Damn. Um, yeah, man. So I, I dig the pizza thing because pizza is kind of like universal. We had it in high school too. Same thing, lunch window, but they had excellent pizza, like the sheet pan pizza, big old, and just filled you up. So pizza is obvious. Pizza at any point, at any time up until age 18, 21, it's just, <laughs> it plays. Never had a cafeteria in my life. Just so I'm so I. thrown by that. Yeah, <laughs> I went. To, I went to. I went to a small Catholic private school okay. my whole life. So that that'll explain some things. Yes. I mean, I was obviously a bring your lunch to school kid. I think I still give off that vibe to people today. As was I. Pizza but days. the cafeteria. That's where. That's where like life happened. <laughs> Trevor, the pick. The board is back to you. You have your utensil. I am going to go with lunch food. Okay. And I don't think I need to pick this number two because I think it'll be there at the end. But best lunch food is when your parents forget to give you a lunch. They also forget to give you lunch money, so they have to bring you like a bag of fast food. Oh, midday. Interesting. And you're flexing on everybody because you, you got Mickey D's or Jack in the Box. And everyone's looking at you like, there goes that man. You smell those fries? Like, there goes that boy. Wow. Oh, that's my that's my recess food. Wow. Okay. Or my lunch food. Such a, it's such a good twist on the picture. That was I a good twist. It. I mean, you know, there's... Po- it happened quite a bit to me. That's why, I, like, it really... My, grand, my grandma would have to bring my lunch, and she'd pick up McDonald's. There's a so. quarter of my heart that... And it's the quarter of my heart that wants to veto it is strictly my outfit today. Mm-hmm. But you're abs- if you're at an elementary school lunch and you got the golden arches with you, you're undefeated. Yeah. You just won. Yeah, the kid who yeah. got who <laughs> nobody nobody's McDonald's. happier than you. No, no one in the cafeteria has a bigger smile than you. Yeah, which is a little a little bit of a weird study on our society. Jeez. Um, <laughs> Um, that was a power play, Trev. I'm uh, I'm not mad at it at all. Uh, an that's, impressive flex. Man, that's a good pick. An yeah. impressive flex. Um, your guys' lunches are both taken, and I, I have one lunch remaining that I was I was hoping for, so I can leave that. Um, let's see. I think 
what I'm going to do. So I need a holiday school spirit day. And then I probably should go riding utensil because BBD is still out there. There's, I think there's two clear riding utensils. There's a couple curveballs. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with my, my holiday. I'm going Valentine's Day, man. Mm-hmm. I, I'm doing it, man. Is there... You're young. You don't know emotions. You don't know anything. But you know two or three gals in class that if they give you a Valentine's Day card, that's not even personal or anything. It is going to make your day. (laughs) You know, they're giving out the same card to every kid in class, but if you got one too... You were included in that. From Carla or Laura or whoever it was... You're on cloud nine, and I, at the same time, I also remember, and I don't, you know, a lot of people don't put this in the good bucket. I remember my mom found out I had a crush on a girl in third grade, uh, so she gave me, like, a box of chocolates to give to that girl. Wow. And I obviously didn't give it to the girl. There was (laughs) no way. I ate the chocolates with my boys. Um, (laughs) But still, that feeling of Valentine's Day, you're going to get some candy that day, which is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. You're going to get cards. You're interacting with people. It's probably a scary day for a lot of people, and that's fine, too. Feel that emotion. So I'll take V-Day. And even even without the emotional aspect of it all, um, you're still getting just like a lot of candy that day. Just a lot of candy candy changing hands. Yeah. God, so candy a, hearts, a good day. kind of like disgusting, but you also can't beat them. They're just so specific to Valentine's Day that you look forward to it. And you're a little kid, so you, kind of what you're saying with the reading, like you're reading each one. You're like, be mine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yours truly. What's that mean? <laughs> um, did you, you can, do, have you done V-Day cards? with? The only thing I'll say about my, my experience with that in, in school is that we always had such small classrooms, 25 kids, mm. that like everybody got everybody. Yeah. Right. So I mean, there wasn't really anybody them. left out. Uh, but I think the candy aspect alone and V-Day is kind of parked right in the middle there where there's like no holiday. Mm-hmm. You know, you're yeah. back from Christmas break, like summer breaks f- so far away. That you need, you need that little like filler little, holiday little there to kind of get you through. It's a good time to get it. It's yeah. probably a good day for the teachers. I don't know. You probably get some tears and stuff. Probably fun for the yeah. teachers. They're hooking up and stuff. Um, and then you hear the noises coming out of your parents' bedroom mm. at night. That's a weird day. It's a weird day. <laughs> Fixing. Yeah, come tell, tell everybody yeah. about it. Fixing mommy's back. Um, <laughs> and I will okay. send us into the third round. Uh, again, I can, or I can't wait on my utensil, my writing utensil, excuse me. Um, uh, I'm between two things here. You know what? I have to go honest. I'm going to go crayons. Um, and I'm specifically going to go, uh, with the 64 box of crayons. Mm. Cause that was, that's kind of the first game changer you run into in your life. Like, you've seen that box of eight crayons or whatever it is, and then when the 64 comes out, you're like... 64 pack with the sharpener? Whoa. Life does... It's like the first time you play in a stadium with a third deck. Yeah. You open that box up, there ain't just one row, it's several rows. That's (laughs) the perfect comparison. Um, You know what that's like. I know what that's like. Played on Milwaukee. Uh, (laughs) Um (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, and hey, I'm going to be honest, the, the riding utensil draft pick was never going to speak to me. I think you guys have seen my handwriting. It's atrocious. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's why, atrocious. and BBD, you have a utensil left, so I don't want to give it away. But for me, chalk mm-hmm. uh, kind of was off the board because there was a little bit of nerves because if you're riding chalk, you're kind of riding in front of people. And that's mm, that yeah. could go haywire for me quick. So I went with the crayon pick. Now that you've made your pick, my plan the whole time was utensil last round. And just okay. See what's left. Okay. I have um, for my next pick. I think you guys totally missed this one. I'm oh. shocked that I'm getting it in the third round. I'm absolutely shocked. I thought it was a, a first uh, first round, no doubt. I'm going with Halloween. 
for my holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's candy. It's dress yeah. up. You get to be whatever you want. Like it's I don't think there's a better holiday in school. Because you get you do you celebrated at school. Teachers are in a wonky mood. They're dressed up. You can't have regular class when you're dressed up. Mm. So I'm I'm going you get candy at school straight off to candy trick or treating with your boys. Mm. And you're just overloading, man. Like you're you're rat that night, like Halloween, after you get the two school candy and the trick or treat candy, you're rationing it, trying to say, I could do five pieces a day for a hundred days if I wanted to. Yeah. And then your parents steal three quarters of it and you're like, What happened? And that happens. But Halloween, no doubt. It's a great pick. I, I was between Valentine's Day and Halloween. It's uh, a one A, one B situation. Candy involved both ways. Costumes, yep. Um, yeah, no, I mean, there's there's no argument against it. It's a great day. I was a mummy for like five years in a row. Mm. What was your number one Halloween costume, costume BPD? Um, mm, I don't want to talk about it. No, the one that comes to mind, uh, I did dress up as Hannah Montana in sixth grade. Okay. I I tr- truly I heard you truly that. not saying this, not trying to be funny, not trying to get away with just yeah. saying this and not giving you evidence. I don't think there's any pictures out there. Okay. Uh, if I find them, we can certainly look at them sometime. Hannah Montana. Uh, How do you dress like Hannah Montana? Get a blonde wig, have your neighbor up the street, uh, uh, borrow a bra from her, get you some mm. boobs. It's a good time. Hot. Oh, wow. Hot. Yeah. Older, older neighbor. You went? I was, you I was went 10. For it. Yeah, I thought it was really funny. Okay. I was a skeleton a lot. Did a lot of uh, Scooby Doo stuff. Just as lazy. Well. Teddy, Teddy's a skeleton with an axe. That was his ask that. this Halloween. So love yeah. that. No, it's a it's a great pick, Trev. Um, Thank it's you. It's a good pick. Because I I was gonna take it right here. If you wow. So you you have snake. Okay, me. so mm. BBD, you've got two left. Mm-hmm. Your holiday and your writing utensil. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to go get my recess game off the board. I love football, which you picked. So I get my next best option. Uh, and I'm going to take four square. Okay. You had an absolute blast playing Great it. Great game. There's a lot of moving in and out quick. It's a, it's a good pace so everybody can get involved. You can get a couple games going if you've got a big enough class. Um, and if you're if you're like staying in that game a while, I mean everybody was lined up watching. You feel you truly do feel like the king, yeah, literally and figuratively. Man, that's a good point. I forget the rules. I mean, I played four square a lot. You're in the you're in the one square that serves the ball. That's the ultimate goal is to get over there, right? So you and then a one bounce and I, I totally have forgotten the rules. You're, yeah, you're all over it. I mean, you have the, the serving square. That's where you want to get to. And then you have the new entry square. And then if you yeah. can climb the ladder, you know, whoever gets out, gets out. New person hops into the, the entry square. Um, one bounce or, you know, that's it starts getting crazy when kids start making up rules, cherry bombs. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you catch the ball or does it have to be like a slap hit? I think traditionally, I think traditionally it was a hit. I think there were versions you would play or some. I forget what people might call. There was sometimes a call word. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, we're catching for a little bit. Okay. It's a, it's a great game, game, though. You learn great a lot game. about society from that game. Yeah, it's a you, good hand-eye game. Good mm-hmm. hand-eye. Baby, do you won me over with the uh, – if you have a good four-square day, you run it for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you're king of the castle. It feels good. And, like, it moves so – like, every, like if you're waiting – like, you're forced to watch the game and, like, get in quick if you're if you're on the sideline, you know? Yeah. So – We had much different watching. childhoods. That's what <laughs> I'm, swear? I'm realizing. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Okay. BBD, then, the final round. Yes. Well, I'm on my wraparound. Is this my final pick? No. No, we got five rounds, so I've got – What do we have? It's five. There's five categories, so I still have my writing utensil and my <laughs> holiday. You have a wrap around as well. Okay. Your final two picks coming. 
I believe it's your spirit day and your... Oh, dude. I very much thought spirit day holiday was one thing. On our original list, it mm-hmm. was. Oh. Okay. okay. On our original list, it was, and then we broke it up because uh, we wanted... Because there's just days that aren't holidays that you like. You okay. Know? I'll have to think about that. Okay. Because I haven't at all, but I'll, I'll play the game. Okay. It's never hurt you before. No. <laughs> Well, in that case, it's kind of what you thrive. It's where I live. Uh, maybe I will take my holiday now, then. Okay. Because I can sit on either, so I just got to pick one. Mm. Uh, for my holiday, this is kind of my my biggest trickster pick. Uh, birthdays. Mm. The class birthday. It's a good one. Parents come in with some. Parents bring in some baked good. If you want to make, if you want to say that happens too often, fine. Then my own, I guess. And everyone's really nice to you. Birthday. Uh, okay. Birthdays are birthday, really good. One. You get a special treat. People are nice to you. If you if it's your friend's birthday and they picked you to be like the helper to pass stuff out, you're king. Ooh. And again, it's all a power play for me. Mm. Um, a lot of power plays with you guys. Because I I like I've that. had so the few one days thing, though, where is... I feel uh, more than adequate, mm. and these are the opportunities <laughs> I had. Mm. I like it. Were you like, see, I don't like when people sing me happy birthday. I think that's just Ooh. some people like it, some people don't. So that's always been like, I hate it in a, a tough one. I for liked me. it in the classroom. It was fine. It's like, yeah, everyone, everyone's getting there. Like now it would really make me uncomfortable. Cause yeah. like, I'm, I'm just around Nobody really wants to sing. Yeah. Mm. When we're kids, I think people were more like into it and it's fine and it's quick. But I wasn't a cha 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 kid. So we'd be, so I, I like hated those. So we'd be mm. like, we'd like go through every time people be like, oh, do you like want cha cha chas? And I was always a pretty firm. No. I was also a summer birthday, so I'd be, Me I'd be too. kind of, uh, it'd be like a whole day that was like all the summer kid birthdays in June. We'd just get together and it'd be a big one. But that was also like the biggest what? celebration day because it was like six different baked goods going around. That's so inclusive. I wish that my school thought of that because I had my birthday is June fifteenth. We were typically out of school by then. Mm, that was right on the border for me when it would get. Wow. Out. That was July eighth, yeah. so I was always out of school by then. So you got birth? I'm hmm. I zoned out a little bit because I was googling spirit days. You got birthday? Yeah, took birthdays what? as a holiday. Wait, what? <laughs> you didn't go to school? So you weren't in school for your birthday, but they celebrated it. We did like a summer, a kids with summer birthdays thing. That's wild. Yeah, because I, th- I think if we just skipped it, I would have resented the birthdays forever. Because I was like, oh, I never get this. As is, I'm the I'm like one of the youngest kids in the class. Someone in your region was forward thinking because that's yeah. I think I don't. I think not long before me, it wasn't a thing. But okay. Yeah, we the uh, the summer okay. kids would link up a little bit at my school. I'm I'm happy yeah, for you. Never happy got to birthday. Do. When we were uh, last year, I was working here. We were here for my birthday. It was the first time I've ever had to like be somewhere on my birthday, like work or something or school. It's such a fascinating like dive into your guys' childhood right now. We're finding out. We're fi- we're finding ourselves as you do at a young age. Oh. What a All right, I, I guess I'm up, up. Trevor. I think I have Spirit Day and Recess Game. I don't think you're picking either of these, so I can it doesn't matter the the order mm-hmm. I go on. For my Spirit Day, this also could have been a first rounder for me. Okay. I'm going Book Fair. Mm-hmm. It's classic Book Fair, number 2 on my Spirit Day board. Book Fair is a good time. Incredible. Teddy just had his Book Fair, so it's very fresh in my mind. I mean, I would go I wouldn't say I was flush with cash. I probably had 10 bucks, which is pretty nice. Back in the day, mm. I was straight to R.L. Stein mm. goosebumps. Maybe I would do a Hardy Boys if I was feeling mm. a little like a thriller. But typically, I was just straight up goosebumps. Let's see what let's see what monster we got to fight. Is it going to be a gerbil that eats some toxic thing and grows? You know, what? where are we going with it? So goosebumps, book fair, my number one spirit day. Book fair, you're getting out of a certain class, like your your class gets to go to the book fair and check it out, so that's a win. There's some, like, games and toys that sneak in, so you go check that out or yeah. see if that's in the budget. 
Um, and if I was forced into getting a book, um, I was getting a wishbone. Um, a, a, the dog that, <laughs> that was a detective of sorts. Um, okay. So, or Animorphs when they came out. Animorphs was big. Um, I like animals. But, yeah, Trev, that's an emotion, man. They still have that paper. They send home that paper that's way they too still thin. Have that. They still have the paper. I don't understand why. I gave Teddy a 20 bone. So go knock yourself out, kid. Damn. Go knock yourself out. It was probably. He brought back this one book. It's a diary of a wimpy kid. You know, there's like a whole, yeah. there's like 20 books. And they're they're pretty funny. We like we read them together all the time. He got the spooky stories one, and he's like he wanted it to be scary. It turns out it was like it's more way more silly than scary. Mm. And he said, "I feel like I got gypped, Dad. I want to bring it back." Wow. I don't know if he That's can. Your boy. It's, it's I bullshit, wanted Dad. more out scared. of this. I'm returning yeah. it. After the first two, there's like a bunch of short stories in it. After the first two, he's like, "I don't want to read this anymore." Mm. Wow. So, book fair. Book fair is a great pick. A great pick. Um, okay. Okay. So, what I am left with a spirit day, which I, I've told you guys I've been prepped for. <laughs> um, I think I found a couple that I'm interested in. Um, and then I need my my lunch food. I think I'm, I'm going to take an all-timer. I mean, a classic. Nothing crazy here. I'm going chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. The nuggies. Yeah. When did you get nuggets? How did you get Bro, nuggets? East Coast, like, chicken nuggets and pizza are the days. Like, those are the... Those okay. are the only two I the, could think of when I was making the Those board. are like the fist pump when you walk in. Those are the, like, am I going to have to scrounge up a couple quarters... <laughs> <laughs> and go try to get me some chicky nuggies. Um, Wait, hey, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stepping away, still listening. So those for me, are yeah. those northeast, I guess. <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. This will check when out I was the chat after this. That's why Trev's fast food pick for lunch, I love so much because I could only think of pizza and and nuggies. So, yeah. So I was struggling to come up with a third, and I didn't want to just go like. PB and Jax. I was like, I was thinking like, you get it like from the cafeteria. Right. Uh, was like the idea behind the category. And nuggets just have a, I think they have a sharing quality mm. to them. If you take a buddy's nugget, you're okay. Yeah. Um, or if you give out a chicken nugget, you're all right. Like that doesn't change the balance of your your day. So that was that was the last food item that was on my mind. So I take chicken nuggets. I need my spirit day. I am scrolling through spirit days. Um, I'm going to assume um, that first day of school doesn't count. That's not really a spirit day. I'd be open to it. I, I'd I don't allow think it. I'd veto that. I'm going first Especially day of school. Especially if you're then, scrambling. Because I'm, I'm a... I'm a huge... And I was a huge first day of school kid. You're obviously not learning anything. You're meeting friends and people and like, especially elementary school, for me, like, your friends for the year kind of got dictated by the class. Like, that that kind of dictated a lot of my, like, birthday parties that year. Like, that, I remember there was a pair of twins in my grade that, like, one year I was in his, one of the twins' class and I was his friend all year. The next year I wasn't. I was with the other twin. And then I was, like, his friend all year. So, like, it was kind of a first day of school was an exciting time. Everyone's got their new clothes on, their first day of school the new outfit. new fits, yeah. Like, Cut. I'm, you know, who am I sitting next to? Like, all the goods. I loved all of that stuff because that was not trying to learn. So I'll, I'll take that. Trev, I think you have your last pick. Yeah, I have recess game. And I don't know if this is like a West Coast thing or not. Uh, later on in my life, all boys high school, it was strictly hacky sack. That's what we did. But we're doing grade school here. So 
My game is called Butts Up. You guys ever play that game? Excuse me? Is, is this the same? You, it's, you, need, you need the big wall. And then you threw the ball. Oh, yeah. And someone had to catch the ball. And if you bobbled it, you had to run and touch the wall before the next person threw the ball at the wall. If you didn't, you had to stand up there and just wear <laughs> it. <with. laughs> mm. <laughs> Trev, I really wanted to is that not add a... this game. For us, this was what our school called wall ball. Yeah. I think, and I really wanted to pick it, but I didn't know. I know there's a few different games called wall ball. Um, okay, well, yeah. Mine, it was called, we called it butts up. I wanted to pick it Yeah. real bad, uh, but I didn't know how to frame it. So so I'm really happy you did. And Love I'm really happy you yeah. called it butts up. Yeah. Yeah, we never called it wall ball, but I know. I mean, obviously, I understand why you would call it wall ball. <laughs> you can see how that might happen. Wow, <laughs> big um, wow. big hand eye game. I might have learned some things on the on the blacktop yeah. there. You uh, I had a good arm, so I was also you know people didn't want right. me to throw. Yeah, they didn't the want to drop the ball where you could recover it. Yeah, it's also a humbling game. I feel like because you know, I mean. I, at that age, was pretty good in the hand-eye realm. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think whenever I got at my peacockiest moment, maybe take the eye off the ball for a second, that's when you bobble it. That's when you screw up. Challenge yourself. Um, So I I think uh, that game made you look inside a little bit. You had to to complete the play. Um, Butts up, huh? BBD, you have your final pick. And I think, and I'm glad this is at the end here, um, and I don't think you guys would have been able to pick it because I think it shows just a difference of when you guys would have gone to school and when I did. Uh, as I was growing up, that was that was kind of with the the invention of the whiteboard. Uh, and I, and I, so I would like to draft the Expo marker. Um, the Expo marker. When you got, if you're writing on the main board, that was a feeling, again, a feeling of power. But also we would do exercises with like little whiteboards uh, pretty often. And like, you know, you write down whatever answer, flash it. Oh, everyone got four, whatever. Uh, and you could do a lot of just fun drawing with the with the whiteboard marker. You just do a lot of just coloring in shapes. Mm. This is something I did pretty often. You like erase it with your finger and you make more designs out of that. Mm. Um, just playing with the whiteboards, man. That was a trip. I loved it. That. That changed the game a little bit. When whiteboards came along, it was like going from black and white TV to color yeah. TV. Mm. I mean, now you, oh, such and such, uh, vowels are in purple, consonants are in green. Like it made everything easier, in my opinion. You know, you got to categorize things based on color, which, you know, no one used colored chalk like that. Like if you were doing colored chalk, you were doing like a painting or, or something like that. Myself, I have recess football. Uh, my holiday is Valentine's Day. Utensil, the 64-pack of crayons. Crayons. Lunch, chicken nuggies. And spirit, I took the first day of school. Slightly illegal. But there's spirit. There's mm. spirit there. And I think if you're doing that. There's fucking spirit there. If I could tell you something, yeah. probably would have picked last day if you're going for just the draft pick. But I liked the first day of school so much, too. I love the pick. Last day you want to end. First day you're excited to happen. Um, Trev, his utensil is the smell marker. Um, I'm sending a link, um, not to you people, to, to our office to get these because we need them. It's not a discussion. Um, you have your lunch, fast food, maybe the biggest flex of the draft, and that's obvious. Change the draft right uh, there. Holiday, Halloween. A spirit day, the Scholastic Book Fair. I'm I'm very happy with my draft. In recess, butts up, <laughs> aka <laughs> wall ball in some cultures. I think, you know, some people call it pickleball. I I don't know. There's uh, you, you know the game. Nobody we're calls it about. pickleball. Um, BBD, your lunch is pizza. Your spirit day is field day. Recess, four square. Holiday, birthdays. Um, you put in parentheses your f- best friend's birthday if I got to pick a specific one, and your utensil is the whiteboard marker. So that is the elementary school draft. 